Assisting the disaster um, uh, efforts here at the control room. Uh, could you tell us uh, how are the situation here in Sikkim currently? Uh, as far as the water uh, level is concerned, it has receded. It is receded. That's there. Uh, the uh, the casualties, etc., whatever chiefs it is, uh, that is we will still because till we get the entire thing. Because as we, as we all know, that, um, there has been uh, some of the missing persons. Till we get the dead, we will not open. As far as we are, whatever chief takes, and that is the case. And the situation, as I said, the water level is, as of it is receding. Uh, we have not been able to uh, monitor about the not distributed total road because uh, road co communication is not at all there. So, but still, we are trying to uh, be in contact with them to find out the actual situation. Uh, otherwise, uh, uh, I live, uh, like. Uh, our services of our, all our people, SDRM, NDRM, and all our departments of the so all the present service, so that, you know, uh, no one to further this uh, in the So government is, uh, government is uh, monitoring the whole thing. And then uh, uh, if, if weather, let us see, tomorrow if weather improves, then we may be able to, you know, uh, with the operating air, air lifting process also we will be able to do it. Uh, as of today, we will update you about the further distance. So still we get the entire we will not be able to do. Sir, so far we haven't received any information, but there are wide-scale visuals that are coming off uh, the Tista State Street Dam being actually uh, breached. Could you tell us more about it, sir? Uh, the Tista, we have a report about the Tista State Street Dam breaching. Yes, sir. Tell us, sir. It is true, right? It is, it is, it is, it is true. And has there been any damages that have been reported from Chungtang, specifically casualties, any, sir? Uh, that side, from north side, we have not received any information on the casualties. Uh, as you know, there's uh, other damage that is there, but the casualties, we have not seen any, so far. And God for nothing may happen. Sir, there's an eerie coincidence to something that happened in the uh, in Sikkim in the past. Uh, the 1968 uh, flash floods is equally important, and it is said it happened on this specific day. You're someone who might have seen this particular incident happen. Could yes, you tell us exactly, about that? Yes, exactly. Um, in fact, I'm I'm one of the witnesses. I I, I was also one of the volunteers. Uh, there was a refugee camp, Tibetan refugee camp at uh, the Saram Sar site. That was totally different. So, I mean, there was more than devastating uh, because the land, extensive lands are there taking place. So that was, and then I think during that time, washing our bridges was not, was not that much. But this time, it is extensive. So that is the reason why total the entire North East is totally cut up because we have not been able to do it. I mean, we do have uh, West East, South East, we have communication there. But then by communicating, you know, to, uh, venturing towards that side, this side, that is quite difficult because of the road. Sir, as an eye witness, can you conclude that uh, maybe this was this particular this is, this is, this, this, this is more disaster, uh, devastating than the 1960s. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir.